కే హిమజ లెక్చరర్ ఇన్ ట్రిపుల్ ఈ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఎస్ఆర్ఆర్ఎస్ గవర్నమెంట్ పాలిటెక్నిక్ సిరిసిల్ల నౌ టుడే ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సెంట్రల్ ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ అథారిటీ అండ్ ఓవర్ వ్యూ ఆఫ్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సెక్టార్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ పార్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ and the last topic in third chapter so what are the objectives the functions of the central electricity authority and overview of the distribution sector so next so the functions of the central electricity authority so overall planning and development of power sector in the country cea is a technical organization to advise and assist central government on matters relating to generation transmission distribution trading and utilization of electricity etc the main functions of cea central electricity authority include specifying technical standards for construction of electrical plants safety requirements for construction operation and maintenance of electrical plants and lines grid standards for operation and maintenance of transmission lines the conditions for installation of meters for a transmission and supply of electricity so these are the references i am taking from indian economy dot net next one the brief functions and duties of cea are as follows the first point here cea central electricity authority advise the central government on the matters relating to the national electricity policy formulate short term and perspective plans for a development of the electricity system and coordinate the activities of the planning agencies for the optimal utilization of resources to sub service sub serve the interest of the national economy and to provide reliable and affordable electricity to all the consumers here here the central electricity authority take some policies and short terms to provide reliable and affordable electricity to all the consumers next to second point specify the technical standards for construction of electrical plants electric lines and connectivity to the grid next so here the electrical plants electrical lines and to the grid some standards are following according to the central electricity authority next last point to specify the safety requirements for construction operation and maintenance of electrical plants and electric lines so some safety of precautions are following according to the central electricity authority rules construction operation and finally maintenance 
so here i am taking this points from this reference next one d specify the grid standards for operation and maintenance of transmission line so some grid standards or grids are also following the some rules according to the operation and maintenance of transmission lines according to the rules of central electricity authority next e point specify the conditions for installation of meters for transmission and supply of electricity so for installation of meters also they are following according to the central electricity authority rules only next point promote and assist in the timely completion of schemes and projects for improving and augmenting the electricity system the schemes and projects also following according to the central electricity authority rules only next to slides i will explain the schemes and projects next one promote measures for advancing the skills of persons engaged in electricity industry here they are following some advancing the skills of the employees so day to day they have to update their knowledge so that is also following according to the central electricity authority rules only next one advise central government on any matter on which its advice is sought or make recommendation to that government on any matter if in the opinion of the authority the recommendation would help in improving the generation transmission trading distribution and utilization of electricity so for improving the generation transmission distribution and trading so they are following according to the central electricity authority rules only next one collect and record the data concerning the generation transmission trading distribution and utilization of electricity and carry out studies relating to cost efficiency competitiveness and such like matters here for generation transmission and distribution they are collecting the data according to the month wise year wise and day wise and they are evaluating the cost efficiency and competitiveness so everything is recorded next one make public from time to time the information secured under this act and provide for the publication of reports and investigations so continuously the research is going on continuously the research is going on so from the public from time to time so so always they are updating their skills and knowledge so promote research in matters affecting the generation transmission and trading of electricity 
so research is going on so some journals for everything they are maintaining some journals what is the research is going on what is the recent trends in efficiency generation transmission and distribution of electricity so according to the everything they are following the norms of cea central electricity authority section 3 national electricity policy and plan the central government shall from time to time prepare the national electricity policy and tariff policy in consultation with the state governments and the authority for development of the power system based on optimal utilization of resources such as coal natural gas nuclear substances or materials hydro and renewable sources of energy here the central government is following from time to time and consult with the state governments so the optimal utilization of resources so what about the coal what about the hydro what about the nuclear and non conventional sources they are consulting regularly with the state government the central government shall publish the national electricity policy and tariff policy from time to time so the central government is publish what is the today rate what is the next after two months what is the rate so this process is goes on continuation continuously if any scarcity is there in any state so we have to take the they will they will supply the power ntpc national thermal power corporation they are supplying the power from other source the central government may from time to time in consultation with the state governments and the authority review or revise the national electricity policy referred to in subsection 1 so the central government here may from time to time to revise the national electricity policy what is the state government what about the generating stations how much power they are generating so they are consulting regularly with the state governments and following the rules according to the central electricity policy only so the last next fourth point the authority shall prepare a national electricity plan in accordance with the national electricity policy and notify such plans once in 5 years so for every 5 years so the national electricity plan and notify the such plan for every 5 years one time so this four plans are following the national electricity policy so this four points are following under goes to under section 3 next one section 8 hydro electric generation any generating company intending to set up a hydro generating station shall prepare and submit to the authority for its concurrence a scheme estimated to involve a capital expenditure exceeding such sum as may be fixed by the central government 
from time to time by notification. So here the hydro generating station prepare and submit a summary sheet means here the expenditure what is the annual expenditure monthly expenditure and it also fixed by the central government so this all of the estimations are goes to the section 8 next one Section 53 Provision relating to safety and electricity supply protecting the public including the person engaged in the generation, transmission or distribution or trading from dangers arising from the generation, transmission or distribution or trading of electricity or use of electricity supplied or installation, maintenance or use of any electrical line of electrical plant. So, for protecting the public from generations from the dangers, from the generations, transmission or distribution. So, this section 53 is present to protect the safety from the generating transmission or distribution. Next point, eliminating or reducing the risk of personal injury to any person or damage to property of any person or interference with use of such property. So, here to protect from any injury or damage. So, this section 53 will protect. Next, see prohibiting the supply or transmission of electricity except by means of a system which conforms to the specification as may be specified. So, they are following according to the specifications only the supply or transmission. So, to protect the public from any Dangers arising from the electricity, either generation, transmission or distribution. Next, giving a notice. Giving a notice in the specified form to the appropriate commission and the electrical inspector of accidents and failures of supply or Transmission of electricity. So, if any failure will present, gives a notice to the appropriate commission. So, this 4 or goes to section 53. So, the conclusion is to protect from dangers arising from generation, transmission or distribution. So, we have to give a small notice to the particular commission and the electrical inspector. Next one, section 55. Use ETC of meters. So, for proper accounting and audit in the generation, transmission and distribution or trading of electricity, the authority may direct the installation of meters by a generating company or license at 
such stages of generation transmission or distribution or trading of electricity and at such locations of generation transmission or distribution or trading as it may be necessary so for proper accounting and audit for installation of meters this section 55 is present next one section 177 powers of authority to make regulations the authority may by notifications make regulations consistent with this act and the rules generally to carry out the provisions of this act second point in particular and without prejudice to the generality of the power conferred in subsection 1 such regulations may provide for all or any of the following matters mainly the grid standards under section 34 suitable measures relating to safety and electricity supply under section 53 the installation and operation of meters under section 55 the rules of procedure for transaction of business under subsection 9 of section 70 so here so powers of authority to make regulations so the regulations are following to continuity of the supply to protection from all accidents or all fire hazards etc so the technical standards for construction of electrical plants and electrical lines and connectivity to the grid under class b of section 73 next one the form and manner in which and the time at which the state government and licenses shall furnish statistics returns or other information under section 74 next one any other matter which is to be or may be specified so this all or the goes to section 177.2 the regulations in particular so the general generality of the power conferred these regulations they are following from a to g next third point all regulations made by the authority under this act shall be subject to the conditions of previous publication so before what is there they are following all the regulations from previous publication only so here in this central electricity authority C E A. The main functions are the construction of electrical plants, safety requirements for construction, 
operation and maintenance of electrical plants and lines grid standards for operation and maintenance of transmission lines the conditions for installation of meters for a transmission and supply of electricity so here the functions means here the generation transmission and distribution so for generation means either hydrothermal nuclear or non conventional or renewable energy sources the optimal utilization of resources to the subserve the interest of the national economy so they are following according to the central electricity authority rules only the section 3 presents the national electricity policy and plan section 8 goes to hydroelectric generation section 53 presents the provision relating to safety and electric electricity supply section 55 presents the use of etc of meters and the section 177 presents the powers of authority to make regulations so these are the functions and regulations meters everything in detail is present so here so the central electricity authority functions these are the next one overview of distribution sector means in this point what is the um, uh, annual generation year wise monthly wise or present so evolution of power sector so the installed capacity in gigawatts gw means here gigawatts in 1947 and 2016 they are compared so the gross electricity generation in 1947 is 4.07 and in 2016 is 1105 next per capita consumption is 16.3 in 1947 and in 2015 to 16 it is 1075 so we can imagine how many times next transmission and distribution losses are in 2016 it is 22.77 next at and c losses are 24.62 peak demand met in gigawatts in 2016 to 17 is 157 gigawatts so next one demand projects as per 18th electric power supply report so the peak demand and energy requirement so at the end of 13th plan the peak demand is 283.47 gigawatts and energy requirement is 1905 and also in the 2026 to 27 the peak demand is 400.71 and the energy requirement is 2710 and finally 2031 to 32 the peak demand is 541.82 and the energy requirement is 3710 
so for year wise the energy consumption required is more so first one 283 next to 400 next to 541 that is a peak demand and energy requirement is 1905 2710 and 3710 approximately 1000 is rising next one per capita consumption in india so in the year end kilowatt hour per capita 2009 to 10 it is 779 2010 to 11 819 11 to 12 883 12 to 13 914 13 to 14 957 14 to 15 1010 and 2015 to 16 1075 means for every year the kilowatt hour consumption is rising next one household consumption as per 24 by 7 pfa documents here it presents the rural and urban areas comparison so the minimum kilowatt hour per hours day and maximum kilowatt hour hours and day so in rural areas they are giving the comparison with manipur and chandigarh it is 2.35 is the minimum and maximum is 10.5 similarly for urban areas the minimum is 0.7 and maximum is 4.69 Next one, what are the issues in distribution sector? Poor financial position of distribution companies. Because why? Means they have high losses, inadequate metering, billing and collection. Overloaded and old sub-transmission and distribution network. So, these are the poor financial position because the losses are very high. The old ones, they are not replaced with new ones. Next, the metering, billing and collection also, it is not good. They are using the old, old meters, billing also not clear and collection also not good. Overloaded and old sub transmission and distribution network. Next one access to electricity to all rural. Here, the rural areas, some access are, is not so good. Next, less use of IT energy auditing and accounting and distribution sector so they are not updated their auditing accounting and it in the distribution sector because everything goes to poor financial position and access to electricity to all rural areas and less use of internet so next one decentralized distributed generation So, abbreviated as DDG, Decentralized Distributed Generation. DDG are for remote villages where grid connectivity is either not possible, not feasible. A provision of subsidy of 1000 crore has been kept for DDG projects under RGGVY 12th plan. So, RGGVY, I will explain in the next slides. 
Next, DDG projects may be based on biofuels, biomass, gasification, solar, photovoltaic, small hydro, biogas or wind solar hybrid systems etc. So, these distributed generation projects are based on wind solar small projects like wind solar like that, biogas. Next one, the state governments require to invite developers for DDG projects and developer would also do O and M for 5 years. So, this decentralized distributed generation for remote villages are not possible. The grid connectivity is not possible or not feasible. And they are invited the projects, developers for DDG projects. And also these projects are based on the small projects like uh, wind, solar, biogas like that. Next one, approved projects under DDUGJY. Here, Deen Dayal Antiyodaya Yojana, DDUGJY. Deen Dayal Antiyodaya Yojana, as on, as on 31-10-2016, the Yojana projects including DDG, means decentralized distributed generation at an estimated cost of 108,590 crores have been approved and 43,614 crores have been released to the states according to the Din Dayal Antiyodaya Yojana. Next one, Integrated Power Development Scheme. IPDS. So, this scheme launched on 3rd December 2014 for strengthening of sub transmission and distribution networks in the urban areas, metering of distribution transformers, feeders, consumers in the urban areas. RAP DRP subsumed. So, this scheme is launched in 2014. So, the schemes 1 and 2 are estimated outlay of 32,601 to 612 crore with a support of 25,354 crore. Crore. Next one, status of implementation of IPDS. So, under Part AIT, 1405 projects at the cost of 5437.56 crore have been approved for 30 state and 3,012 crores has been dispersed. Next under part A of our APDRP 72 SCADA projects worth 1,556 crores have been approved for 20 states and 464 crores have been dispersed. Under part 3 of or APDRP 1229 projects worth 31,028 crores have been approved for 27 states and 5,486 crores have been dispersed. 
నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఐపీటీఎస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ ఫర్ ట్వంటీ నైన్ స్టేట్స్ కవరింగ్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఎయిటీ త్రీ టౌన్స్ ఎట్ అండ్ ఎస్టిమేటెడ్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ సెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ నైన్టీన్ క్రోర్స్ హ్యావ్ బిన్ శాంక్షన్డ్ బై ద మానిటరింగ్ కమిటీ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఉదయ్ మీన్స్ ఉజ్వల్ డిస్కమ్ ఎష్యూరెన్స్ యోజన ఉదయ్ So scheme for operation and, and financial turnaround of discounts launched on 20th November 2015. So applies only to state-owned discounts. So the, this discount for the purpose of this scheme may include combined generation, transmission and distribution undertakings. So this is one of the assurance yojana scheme. Participating states would undertake measures to achieve operational and financial turnaround of discounts. స్టేట్ డిస్కమ్స్ విల్ కంప్లై విత్ ద రెన్యువబుల్ పర్చేస్ ఆబ్లిగేషన్ అవుట్ స్టాండింగ్ సెన్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఏప్రిల్ టూ థౌజండ్ టూ వన్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ స్టేట్స్ షెల్ స్టేట్స్ షెల్ టేక్ ఓవర్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ డిస్కమ్ యాజ్ ఆన్ థర్టీ ఎయిత్ సెప్టెంబర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఓవర్ టూ ఇయర్స్ So as on date 17 states have signed MOU. So these are the Uday Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana Scheme for Generation Transmission and Distribution Sectors. Next one, National Smart Grid Mission NSGM. So mission launched on 27th March 2015. So this mission is a development for smart grid in smart cities, development of microgrids, consumer engagements and training and capacity building etc. So the 30% funding will be provided under NSGM scheme. So to take up the pilot projects for microgrids. So here the total approved cost for a 12th plan is 980 crore including a budgetary support of 338 crores. So now here this table presents a small comparison of DPRs has been approved. The number of consumers and estimated cost Amaravati, Nagpur, Chandigarh and Kanpur. So initiatives for energy efficiency. So the domestic efficient lightning program to provide LED bulbs to consumers with a target to replace 770 million incandescent bulbs with LED bulbs by March 2019 because they are providing the scheme to save the power. So the government is sponsored to every house. with minimum rate 
नैक्स्ट वन स्ट्रीट लाइटनिंग नेशनल प्रोग्राम सो दिस स्ट्रीट लाइट आलो हियर रीप्ले द कन्वेनल स्ट्रीट लाइट वित् एल स्ट्रीट लाइट सो दम स्टार रेटिंग दे आर् गिवन फर् जन एसी रिफ्रिजरेटर्स एंड वाशिंग मिशीन एक्सेट्रा फाइव स्टार रेटिंग फोर स्टार रेटिंग एंड थ्री स्टार रेटिंग लाइक दट नैक्स्ट डिस्कम से ऐडेड ए डिग्नेटेड कंस्यूमर्स अंडर पैट टू सो नैक्स्ट सो फर् डोमेस्टिक अप्लीकेशन आलो द गवर्नमेंट प्रोवैडेड टू द कंस्यूमर्स एल बल इनस्टेड आफ् इनकैंडस लैंप वित् द सबसीडी रेट नैक्स्ट स्ट्रीट लाइटनिंग नेशनल प्रोग्राम The bulbs are replaced with LED street lights. So this method also there started from 2016. So next one initiatives taken initiatives taken by CEA for smart grid. and the integration of renewable with the grid so the standard single phase meters has been notified for the domestic applications advanced meters are placing and the 33 kilovolt rating what is the voltage ratings and what is the standards for connectivity are mentioned so the renewable energy to the grid at voltage level of 33 kilovolt has been notified the metering regulation for renewable energy plants connected at lt level has also been notified नैक्स्ट वन ट्वेंटी फोर बै सेवन पवर फर् आल सो द स्टे सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हाज टेकन ए स्म इनिशियेटिव विथ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू प्रोवैड ट्वेंटी फोर बै सेवन पवर् सप्लाई टू आल हाउस हॉल होम इंडस्ट्रियल एंड कंस्यूमर्स कमर्शियल कंस्यूमर्स and the agriculture sector has decided by the respective state governments to provide the hours of supply to the agriculture site so these documents are signed for 34 states next one achievement in reduction of transmission and distribution losses so what is the transmission and efficiency losses are reducing year wise they are mentioned from 2004 to 5 that is the starting year and 2014 to 15 is the last one so in 2004 to 5 it is 31.25 next in 2014 to 15 it is 22.77 so the losses are reducing so similarly for various countries they are mentioned next is status of metering in india so this chart this slide presents domestic commercial industrial agriculture others and total so the number of consumers percentage age of metering 
so that is 1 is 220 and second one is 87 percent next to this slide presents the what are the losses uh, in the distribution companies in india is present so next access to electricity So, the proposed installed capacity by 2022. So, what is the coal? 217.3, hydro 51.3, gas 25.7, nuclear 10.1, renewable 175.0. So, total becomes 479.4. Next one, transmission system as of today. The large synchronous machines are placed in the grid. Phase measure units has been placed at various locations. And the renewable energy management centers also enabling the forecasting of renewable energy, generation, real-time monitoring, etc. So, these are the, so the basic functions of AMI as per function requirement of AMI issued by CEA. So, remote meter data, time of day, prepaid functionality, net metering, remote load limiter, remote firmware upgrade, Integration with other existing systems and security features to prevent unauthorized access to the AMI, including smart meter and meter data, etc. So, these are the references. These are the two references I am taking. for preparation of overview of distribution sector. So, the two objectives, functions of the Central Electricity Authority and overview of distribution sector are present this part 15. Thank you for watching this video.